There was a huge blue glass bottle in the living room of my childhood home. Its base was wider than a dinner plate and it was so tall that it came up to my knee. It was the Disney World jar. Everyone in the house emptied their change into it with the promise that when it was full, we'd go to Disney World. When I was in middle school, this jar was about three quarters of the way full and my parents sat my brothers and I down at the kitchen table. There had been an emergency with a family at our church. How would we feel about giving them the Disney World jar money? I don't remember what my brothers and I said. I do remember rolling quarters and nickels on the sunny floor of the living room with my family for hours. I remember laughing. I remember the joy of learning to give. This wasn't some natural generosity. My parents had been modeling giving for my brothers and I for years before this. Sometimes in church, my dad handed me the envelope to place in the offering plate. Sometimes my mom slipped my brother the $20 for the fella who just wanted a sandwich. They taught us to view all that we had as a gift and to give it back to God and his people as often as possible. Not just in big extravagant moments, but in the small everyday ones. And not just with spare change and offering envelopes, but with lay reading and singing and teaching. They invited us to participate in serving and worship and giving at the offering so we understood that God didn't just rejoice at the gifts of big fancy grown-ups, but the gifts of little boys and girls too. The habit of giving wasn't formed in me when I began drawing my first paycheck and set up auto-give on my church's website. I began giving as a child. The habit had been fostered by the parents who recognized that all that they had been given even their children should be returned to the Lord. For more, visit the NALC.org stewardship.